Hey, this is Andrew, the Bearded Giant. Uh, some of you may have think I've just fallen off the face of the earth because I haven't been uh, uploading uh, videos uh, recently. I have been uh, busy working on stuff that could be videos, but I'm trying to push through it and videoing it uh, just takes longer. Uh, I'm working on uh, a shed that I started six years ago and uh, got stopped by the county uh, building department because I was building it too tall and it violated uh, local ordinance. So I abandoned that um, project and picked it up again uh, a few weeks ago. <clears throat> I took the uh, second story off my shed and uh, converted it to a one story and this will uh, provide me a, a workspace uh, in inclement weather so I can uh, produce more videos and do that sort of thing. So I'll give you a quick uh, tour of the crazy construction uh, I'm doing in my backyard and uh, hopefully that helps explain uh, what I've been up to. So here we go. So here's some reclaimed lumber from taking the second story off and there's where my chop saw is set up and there's some uh, half disassembled scaffolding that I was using to, oops, shaky, uh, work on the shed. So this was a two-story structure. I took the second story off, made the second floor into the roof area, and it's been quite an effort. Over here is where my siding cutting station has been. Uh, I've been using this uh, piece of tube steel to make straight cuts on my T111. There's some debris from the tear off and that's kind of how it looks. The interior will end up being uh, 10 feet 8 inches wide by 14 8 inches long. The exterior dimensions are 12 by 16 but because there's a uh, 8 inch cinder block base uh, you take 16 inches off either end. Not sure how much of this you'll be able to see. Oh look, big old pile of tools and uh, work stuff. Uh, paint lid, rake, scaffolding, weird stuff. Uh, lumber. So uh, the walls are eight foot framed, but it's about nine feet all said and done. Um, so it'll be a decent, it'll be a decent space when I'm finished. Um, nice uh, double French doors that uh, were salvaged out of uh, some other project somewhere else I got off of Craigslist. Uh, so here's kind of it. And uh, coming around the side, this used to be just plumb full of blackberries over my head. And uh, back here you can see a little bit of the blackberries I haven't fully taken down. Uh, this was over my head too. A lot of cutting and raking and pulling. Uh, I finally just gave up and just dealing with what's down here. Uh, there you can see an example sort of how it was with my scaffolding here and siding and what I've been working on and a work plank I have. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. So, like I said, that's what I've been up to. Uh, it's a real simple, quick video to make sure you guys know I'm still alive. Um, once I kind of move to the inside of my shed workspace, uh, I'll actually produce some videos of like the workbenches I build and the cut stations, and uh, I'll get back to uh, working on building a forge. Um, I picked up some pieces uh, for that. I have a brake drum and I picked up a hand crank blower uh, from a um, from a uh, what do you call it festival homesteading uh, festival I went to uh, met with some blacksmiths down there so yeah I got a lot of stuff uh, waiting or staged to, to do but I'm just trying to push through to get the exterior shell of this uh, building weatherized 
uh, before the weather turns here in Oregon. Uh, it's beautiful now, uh, but uh, could be in a couple weeks we start the rainy season, could be in a month. It's really hard to say. Uh, so, thanks for uh, watching and uh, peace out. I'll talk to you all later. Okay, stay with me. I'm not leaving you. Uh, just a little break. All right, bye-bye.